So, what did they actually do in this study? Well, they asked people to list thoughts about a professor for five minutes. Just write down things you think about a professor. What comes to mind when you think about a professor? So, either they did the professor thing, or they were asked to write down things when you think about a secretary. Or the control, well, they didn't write down anything. And then afterwards, they were asked to just answer these trivial pursuit questions. And this is just normal, plain questions like, who painted La Cuanica? Was it Dali, Miro, Picasso, Balaké? Who was it? What is the capital of Bangladesh? Is it Dhaka, Bangkok, Hanoi, Delhi? Pretty simple questions. But this is really surprising because if you think about a professor, you actually become smarter. Isn't that weird? Just by thinking about the professor, we enhance our intelligence. So actually, people who have thought for five minutes about a professor, well, they were better at answering trivial pursuit questions. Isn't that fantastic? It's just not, it's not only the memories associated we actually, it's also the performance we, we kind of enhance, we actually activate. This is really weird. You should be sitting right now like, wow, this is not real. This is a fairy tale. No, it's real. Look, this is like the basic, the control, the no priming situation. The professor is much smarter. Whereas, if you think about a secretary, you become dumber. You're actually less intelligent. <coughs> we can get back at talking about why self-pictures are important, why self-worth is actually important. Uh, well, experiment, they actually did a scramble experiment where you got different words. You could get like uh, sentences, you had, to, you had like five words and make a sentence out of these five words. And this could be something which could kind of remind you about old people, like Florida, if it's down in the United States, like bingo, like worried, old, wrinkled, conservative, stuff like that. Or it could be pretty neutral, pen, paper, working, eat, mushroom. Doesn't really give you the same associations. So what happens? Well, if they actually prime the traits, it's the American stereotype about Italy, well, what did they do? Well, after the task, they just ask people, okay, thank you for participating today. Have a nice afternoon. But then outside, outside the room, outside the psych, psych study at the institute, at the university, they actually had cameras and people measuring times. So you see how fast the people walked to the elevator from the room they were in. Just their walking speed. So actually, if you have been thinking about Old people, you walk slower. Isn't that weird? Just associating words with older people, never really saying elderly people. You walk slower. This is the seconds it took for people to walk to the elevator. So then they were, they were doing two experiments. And as you'll see, this is experiment two. Actually, the people, thinking about old people, walk almost a second <coughs> slower. So actually, just thinking about priming the elderly American stereotype, you actually walk slower. So priming actually, in a subconscious way, affects us.